¿Dónde? Okay, you guys, I turn on the recording. ¿Qué no hacerte, niñita? Hello, your name. Hello. <laughs> seven billion, seven billion. Seven billion presidents. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yes, seven billion and, and five people on the call. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Thank you. How are you? We're good. Doing good. It's, sunny sunny dark. Dark. it's already dark here. <laughs> well, where are you? Uh, in Amsterdam. Okay, oh, yes. nice. <laughs> What is your name? I'm Elif. Elif. Um, normally, David would join. I don't know if you know him. David would join to this meeting, but since today he is not, yeah, he has apparently had other plans. So I'm here for the organization. Okay, nice. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. <laughs> so good to be here. Yeah, we're doing little meets, little greets. Um, we have a bunch Sharing, sharing their updates of what's going on in their world. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Baby. Hello, people. New face, new face, new faces, old faces. Hello. Hello, Luke. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Vivi. Hey, guys. Hi, Kelly. What's up, you guys? Wow, it feels so good to see your faces. Yeah, it feels so nice to be in the room with everybody, doing this digitally, starting to ramp up for our more in real life gatherings as well that are coming up a lot in 2024. And then, right, all of this is a uh, getting ready for physical locations that will be uh, coming online, that we'll be continuing to partner with and be hosting gatherings like this for change makers that are excited to help grow this regenerative neighborhood movement. Um, so thank you all for being here. It's exciting to see everybody. Yes, yeah, uh, one step closer to seeing you uh, you all in person. We've been connecting, some of us been connected digitally. We know some of the faces with some of you we, we met in person. Vivi, Kelly, Kelsey, it's it's pending, it's pending a long time to see you in person. Hopefully we can- uh, Soon. Yes, yeah, soon. See you in Mexico. We're gonna share a little bit more about that um, later on in in the call. Um, so yeah, hopefully some of you can can make time to to join us there. Hello. Okay, um, how are you guys feeling? Maybe let's uh, since some of us know each other, some of us see each other for for the first time. Maybe let's uh, do a so like um, one word that you're feeling inside of your body right now. Okay, everyone, one word that you're feeling inside of your body right now. That's a nice way to get it going. And a name. Uh, and your name, yeah, and a name, location, and a word to describe what you're feeling inside of your body. I can I can go first. My name is Sonia. Um, I'm currently in Miami, and I'm feeling tingly, I'm feeling tingly in my body. I'm Luke. I'm in the Bay Area, and I'm excited. Nice. Hello, I'm Nicole. I am currently in DC, and I feel like a murmuring. <laughs> And I will pass it off. And you, we, anybody who, once you finish, like pass it off or nominate a person to follow you up. Um, I, Kelsey. My name is Kelsey Fay, and I'm in, currently in Colombia, and I'm feeling ambitious. To nombre. My name is Nadia. Como sentí? Siento muy feliz por verlo a ustedes. Chiquitita. Who do you guys pass it on to? Didn't hear your calls. I think Quain. Quam. Quain. Oh. Hi, guys. I'm Kaim. Kaim. I'm based in Tanzania. And I'm feeling 
vitality. Um, Vivian, how are you feeling? Hi, I go by Vivo. Um, I'll say what Sonia said. Sonia said it's super accurate, the tingling. I was going to say excited, but it's it's more, I, I can feel it more in my body than that. And I'm currently in Valdivia in the south of Chile. And um, am I missing something? I said how I feel. I said my name. Yeah, that's it. And I'm super happy to see you. I think it was Elif. El was it Elif? Yes. Okay, great. We saw yeah, each other. Today we can finally see each other, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Elif. I'm in Amsterdam currently. And I also feel very excited. Um, and I think it's uh, Layla. Layla. <laughs> Very good. Right first time. So hi everyone. I, I'm Layla. I'm in Bonn in Germany, um, and I'm feeling very in like a very co-creative, collaborative spirit. So very kind of union. I don't know if I was the last mm -hmm. one, but sorry, joining late. No, I think there's uh, Luke and Oscar. Um, and Kelly. Yeah. And Kelly. Yes. Know, Kelly. Internet might not be great, but Kelly, if you can hear us, you can type it in and I'll read it out for you, my dear. <laughs> okay, let's try. Um, I'm Kelly. I am currently in the French Alps. Um, I feel kind of slow and like in hibernation mode. Yeah. Pass it on to Oscar. Okay, you guys. Hello, my name is Oscar. Um, I am feeling global right now. Everyone is from a different place and a different part of the world. And at the same time as feeling everywhere, I'm feeling this like beautiful sense of unity um, to see all of us here for this reason of community that drives us all and um, how beautiful it is to see mirrors and so many variations of people and places and i feel great and luke and luke i think i went first uh i'm luke, luke. first yeah luke went first. Yeah. excited okay sweet okay so agenda nicole you shared an agenda we have some points we want to share um yeah i think it would be uh, good to start uh, since i believe all of uh, all of us are in, uh, in a different level of um um maybe understanding or uh, immersion in in, uh, in the mission and the region tribe in particular as a project maybe oscar you want to share a high level um uh, what region tribe does and and um a little bit more yes. about the collective so right we do this every day for the last couple of years and we're super passionate and excited and it's really wonderful to connect with the community that is watching all the things going on what's up ando welcome 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 Hello, Andoni, too. um Mexico. it's really beautiful to connect with a beautiful group of people watching what's happening and watching this journey unfold. Um, at the highest level, the goal of Regen Tribe, us coming together as a collective of individuals, is to help create more of these community projects around the world. Places, land projects that are water, food, and energy, sovereign, right? They have systems for these things, and where the people live with an intention of collaborating for something, some for permaculture, some for art, some for uh, entrepreneurship. And there's a ton of communities around all kinds of ideologies and ideas, right? One that we'll be working with shortly is focused on longevity, testing products that help people live for healthier for longer periods of time. Um, so our goal as a collective is we are building an ecosystem, a digital platform that's tribes. If any of you don't have a tribes account, this is the chance to create your tribes account. We're going to have a five minute session later on where we're right. going to all collectively uh, onboard ourselves to the platform and then join the group to stay up to date uh, with the project and the movement in general. Mm -hmm. um, so this ecosystem that we have been working on for the last two years is based on 
this platform, Tribes, that presents everything to the world, and a bunch of educational research, right? Projects that we've identified. Uh, there's about 3,000 projects that are out there on different websites and different listings. Um, we have about 250 to 300 of them on a spreadsheet that we have been day by day calling, reaching out to, gathering information, and now starting to post them on the platform. Um, and the third part of this ecosystem is direct support to these projects. A lot of the people that are creating these land projects around the world have some of the pieces to the puzzle and are looking for the other pieces of the puzzle. And we are working on supporting them to find those pieces. And this is what Regen Tribe is really about, um, supporting projects like this that are exemplifying what society could be, right? Places that have clean water, fresh food, uh, sustainable forms of energy, and where the people live together collectively in different ways and have more positive human relationships. Um, so welcome guys, welcome to this movement. Uh, this is what we've been doing for the last couple of years and now we're really bringing everything online. The Tribes platform we've been testing for the last few months. Um, actually, we're doing some upgrades and work to it now. Uh, Kelly introduced us to uh, her partner who is a really talented developer and he is helping us with a lot of that process. Kelly is a UI UX designer who is helping us envision the direction that this platform can look like later on as we start changing it and customizing it more to the needs of the users. Um, this idea to support projects one-to-one, -one, right? Our collective is growing by the day. Our core team is about five people right now. And it would be impossible for us five to help all the projects that are out there and forming. So we're working on a distributed agent program who Layla uh, is supporting with programming and content and messaging for. Um, so it's beautiful to see how everyone is right going on site to projects, identifying them and starting to introduce them to the tools that we're building. This is Vivi. She is currently in South America and bringing this type of energy and action to these projects. Um, so just in this call, we have beautiful humans that are all joining the collective at this pace, finding their niche of how they want to get involved. Um, and right, it literally takes a tribe to build a village is a saying I saw a long time ago. And I don't love the word village, right? But it really, really speaks to the concept of what, what it takes to, as like daunting as it sounds, redesign society through these projects. Um, so welcome, guys. Happy everybody's here. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was going to share a little bit about um, what we do high level. We um, we focus on three sectors. The tribes platform um, is our tool for the global network. Um, maybe some of you are already there, uh, some of you not yet. I would love for everybody to explore what we um, uh, the offerings that we have there. We have a network of neighborhoods um, from different places in the world with very specific detailed um, profiles. We share open source education. We've been gathering a lot of um, a lot of resources throughout our journey individually and collectively. Um, and we strongly believe that um, the power is in, in sharing that in between vision holders and people that are uh, community minded people. Uh, since this is uh, the missing piece, right? There's a lot of these places in the world and and there's not enough connection in between them uh, to, to share that knowledge. Um, so um, a big focus of ours is to create one place where you can uh, where you can uh, research all of these um, all of these resources and add yours um, your lessons from um, from your uh, individual journey um, and the social uh, component, right? The the community. Um, physical communities, yes, and also digital communities where we can come together even without being in the physical space together. Um, so this is the Tribes platform. We support projects one-to-one uh, -one as an agency. 
um, that helps us uh, gather resources and um, and support vision holders on on their journeys, really looking at the pain points uh, that are usually repeating themselves in, in most of the journeys, and and sharing that uh, as we as we work with uh, with more projects is um, is a very important a very important point. Um, really excited to um, to launch the agent program. Um, maybe Lila, since since she's here, she joined us as a collaborator on on that project. She has a lot of experience in uh, in creating structures for educational systems for people. As uh, she works in the sustainability uh, field, um, Lila, can you share a little bit about the agent program, um, the online course that we're going to be starting in January? Yes, sounds good. So yeah, thank you so much. I'm super excited. I also just jumped in and I have a day job and I'm trying to make this my full time job. And what would be a really good way for me to bridge both angles is to bring my experience in learning design and how to create experiences for people. So we're really trying to say, OK, how could we have a little bit of a vocational school, if you think about it? So how can I bring these people that have a lot of experience, maybe in sustainability or maybe they don't have an experience in a trade but want to and they just want to go through something on the computer. So it would basically be seven weeks where they would kind of be going through all of the steps two days a week and really going from understanding myself, why am I here? Why do I care about the planet? What are what are regenerative neighborhoods anyways? And what would be the flow if I wanted to support somebody in actually building their uh, own um, regenerative neighborhood? And then through that pathway is then them learning little steps and skills that they would be able to take on in the future. And then hopefully in the future, we can bring them to real world um, sessions where maybe they have a couple of weeks there or maybe a couple of months where they can really build up their skills. So really, really looking forward. We're going to start marketing it soon. So we really need to have your support in getting that out there. And the main message here is that we want to make it accessible to anybody that wants to join and at the same time look for people to actually be able to pay for something like this so we can use it as funding for everything else that we want to do in regen tribe so we'll definitely be a pay what you can and hopefully pay what it means to you so yeah mm. yes we we definitely offer uh, scholarships for um, for um, the uh, people that want to get involved and are really motivated and cannot really afford the um, the, the full price, um, so we uh, we run an ambassador program and assign activities that are being rewarded with with hacks. It's it's a token. Uh, that is uh, can be changed into um, uh, value in within the region tribe ecosystem. So let's say you want to take part in the region uh, tribe agent program, you cannot really afford the full price. Then, as you earn hacks uh, doing activities for region tribe, you can get a big discount or have a course really for free um if if you collect uh, enough hacks so a little bit more about that you can find um on the tribes platform we have our our notion where this process is explained pretty pretty in depth um so yeah uh, definitely a, a huge fan of uh, making it accessible for everybody that that feels motivated as we need and uh, really all of you guys uh, to to support the mission and create more of these places and support more vision holders uh globally yeah, I wanted to um, elaborate a little bit too on how this plugs into the larger mission of Regen Tribe because it's not just about building one neighborhood or and 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 this a regenerative community space that only we can enjoy, but we are trying to build something that can then teach and empower other people in the space to to know the process. And um, this is a process that we've developed with our lived experience, with our research, and from interviewing other people who have who have made certain mistakes. And we want to be able to guide people in the process and basically create more people who are capable of consulting um, and and to create this. So this plugs into for me, it's about the larger mission of like, how can we create more regenerative places to live um, with the element of community at the at the heart of it. So that's kind of why everyone is here, because we believe in like distributed collective models and that 
each and every one of you has a, a project or a related business or like some service that you offer and 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 plugging in and being able to offer that to people seeking to build community that could that could use that um i think is part of how we want to empower you guys as ambassadors members of the collective and um collaborators if you so choose at like the high level of collaboration to be able to wave the flag of regen tribe to empower and anything that you do yeah well, one of the big things that we've observed in our journey through communities is one person can't do it by themselves and when they do they tend to fail um it takes a group of people that are hopefully knowledgeable about the process of creating a community in at least one of the sectors or more, many of them. Um, so the purpose of this program is to introduce anyone interested in being in community or supporting the creation of community to take on these skills, at least be introduced to them and learn how to use the resources that we've gathered in the last few years to bring immense value to some person who has land and is working on building their community, but is holding up all of the pieces a lot of the times by themselves. For someone to arrive with a knowledge of, okay, these are some questions that we should be asking ourselves, and here are resources that can help us answer those questions. It's a game changer for so many people. This is the work we've been doing for the last couple of years going to projects, visiting their teams, and getting to know what they've done well and what they haven't done so well. Keeping really good track of these things and then suggesting to them some things that worked at other projects that could work for them. And from this process, we have synthesized what we call the Community Alchemy Guide. Um, and this is a 10-step journey that you can see here on the weeks of the um, agent program. Uh, it's uh, starting from honing the neighborhood vision on week two, and the 10 calls that follow that are each of the steps that we consider critical in turning your idea of a community into a plan and taking it all the way through building it and then operating it. Um, so the, this, the, mm -hmm. the same process is being followed by, uh, by vision holders. So, um, we we share um, all of these learnings open source vision holders can um can look at the resources uh in the tribes platform they can also receive uh one to one, uh, one to one support from us um and um when it comes to the education part of it we're also organizing uh, in-person um masterminds and trainings for vision holders and nicole has been designing uh and, and masterminding one that's going to happen in, in mexico in in april and so it's going to be at a two-sided training um from one side for agents and they're gonna be uh, having a direct contact with vision holders. And so everybody's gonna be introduced to the holistic um, 10 steps and how to create a regenerative neighborhood. Uh, and, and then uh, we're gonna have a, a bunch of um, workshops and, um, and brainstorms. Um, Nicole can share a little bit more about how it's, um, how it's being designed and how it supports vision holders um, on their journey. Uh, yeah, so um, education we see is really important to to make these projects successful. So people who are interested in learning regenerative neighborhood design are going to live together for a month and take workshops and be provided with in-depth resources, templates, checklists, um, hands-on experiences that will allow them to either work on their existing project and and like basically accelerate their process uh towards success uh, without uh, sacrificing any integrity in the project or if they just want to gain the skills but they don't have land or they don't have an existing project they get to learn and and practical application on the land that we're going to be hosting um, some of it will be at a jungle campus and some of it will be at a sustainable micro city both in tulum mexico so that's in april the full month of april this is a quick thing and 
again, let's start at the beginning. Like, why, why are you guys here in this call? It's so that like you mm -hmm. can potentially get plugged in for opportunities to collaborate and to become an ambassador. And there are like various benefits of, of being part of the collective. Like we structure ourselves so that it's like, it benefits everybody who's involved. Um, and, and even something like, for example, like Kelsey has been able to represent us at conferences and, and Vivi has been able to like onboard neighborhoods and like give them sense, like not just a project as an isolated dot floating out there, but like give them like uh, a place to showcase what they're doing on the tribes platform. And even like I just met um, a Luke, but he reached out because he's an engineer and a developer and potentially wants to get involved in the tribes platform. So these are going to be these collective calls are going to be just uh, like once a month calls where we where we get everybody up to speed about, you know, all the really exciting things that are being worked on inside of the collective and offer a chance to get involved. Welcome, yeah. Jacob. Speaking of, <laughs> yeah, it's a cool idea. Every, yeah, to hear everyone's like, okay, what drew you to this space, right? Yeah, we all love communities. What is like attracting you? Where do you like any ideas on what you'd be like interested in getting more involved in? Maybe something that could help make anything we're doing more clear to you. The purpose of these calls is to get feedback from you guys to get you more information and more paths into saying, okay, I see what I want in the world, which is communities. I can bring my magic in some way. And we are working on these paths to that process. Mm, yeah, the ambassador program is designed based on all of your individual journeys. So the roles and the activities and uh, the goal with the roles are um, are custom made for all of the different collective members that uh, that we uh, that we have in our team and um, and really based on the needs that, that you guys have. So it's not, oh, this is the path that I need to follow. It's more you're co-creating the path with us. So um, yeah, definitely I would like to hear um, all of you guys share a little bit about um, your journey and, and how you see yourself um, plugging into, into the movement um, as for now. Uh, for me, I've been passionate about regenerative neighborhoods for probably over a decade and was super excited to see you guys' platform and aligned mission. And I'm really passionate about getting involved locally and doing it in my community. I think um, big communities like this are fantastic, but I've been a part of some like Guyanet and other places like this. And it was cool calls, but I really want to meet in person and be with people. And so I'm really interested in the hyper-local, how do we actually start doing this and meeting our neighbors and building these communities and make it accessible to anybody. I think it would be awesome to be able to just buy land and move somewhere. And some people have that opportunity, but for people who have a location already, how do we get them involved and allow them to participate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, just to add uh, add to that, Luke. I I really love that approach, and um, yeah, um, I think uh, that the start of the search uh, should be researching what are the projects that already exist in our area, right? Like this this um, approach of oh, I'm going to create my my own thing. There's already a bunch of people that are doing that, so so plugging uh, plugging into that and um, and sharing that would be would be the first step. Um, yeah, I, I, I super resonate with what you said. Thank you. Oh, and so like real quick, I wanted to explain a well, like um, the fact, well, like currently we're developing um, a token called hugs that can be traded for um, either stays or ownership of of land in the different projects that we're working on like running off and living in a community is like my ultimate dream too but we also have like the larger mission of not just building one but empowering like many so um just wanted to like make clear that opportunity because we want to connect people with land who can't to, um, traditionally afford it. So like people who want to live in community and are willing to come live with us at different projects that we're activating or building out, like you, your first choice, like your people who are part of the collective are are definitely given priority and, and different types of discounts and, and, and deals and even ownership and equity in these different projects. So we want to make that really clear to everybody who's getting involved very early. Um, yeah. Uh, we really, really appreciate everyone who's working really hard um, and want to be able to promise that. 
Yeah, Luke, actually, we'll be doing a, um, so uh, timeline-wise, we'll share it later at the end, just uh, as you were mentioning this, meeting in person. Um, uh, from May, June, and July, we'll be near San Diego um, hosting, right, this question you asked, how do we create local nodes of connection for people? And the thing we've come to realize more and more throughout the life of this project is that there are people out there already with land already wanting to create communities. So they have some of the pieces of the puzzle, right? A big mistake we notice is people always like, oh, I want community, I'm gonna go buy my own land and build my own place. But the reality is there's tons of people already doing it. So the work we're working on really is putting all of these potential places on the map and supporting them to become the places that we want them to be. And what they need is the support of individuals. So we'll be going to San Diego, like 30 minutes outside of San Diego, um, to support one of these vision holders that we met over the summer at a different community um, to bring in this group of people interested in community living, in sustainable living, and in working on projects that help do this at scale to help more of these projects come online and connect with each other in like this word that's gotten really, really or growing in like popularity, which is like a network state, right? Something like a, a network neighborhood where it's geographically independent, but multiple places linked together. Um, so yeah, stay, stay, stay tuned for more info about the place is called Wild Seeds. You can see its profile on the tribes platform. Yeah, hey, Rabbit, nice to see you, man. Rabbit's been one of the uh, new joiners in the last couple of weeks that's been super active, uh, both on the platform and all over the place. We're super happy to have you here, man. Um, everyone is sharing a bit about what brings them to the space, what they're interested in, any questions that we could like help and bring like more content or more uh, just packs for people to follow to get more involved. Um, so anyone else uh, happy to hear from everybody? I'm in, uh, I'm migrant myself. I'm, um, I'm linked with people that just got it sounds really broken for me. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't hear Rabbit at all. Yeah, your connection is a little tough for us. Can, to can you hear me now? Any better? A little bit. Can you turn off your camera, at least just the audio while you're talking. Yeah, right. Um, how's this? Is this any better? Yes. Yeah, yeah, now we can hear better. you. Nice. Any better now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I'm in the United States. I'm moving around. I know a fair amount of people that I feel like may want to um, join this. So I just got uh, just to help me look over the uh, protocol and the um, example onboarding letter. Uh, I'm going to tailor that a little bit to my own, you know, spin personality way. And I'm going to start sending that out really soon. Um, I've always had my own personal mission of creating a community uh, because of what the people need. And right. I, found, I found this, I was trying to get to, I was trying to start a network. I was trying to start reaching out. I was like, okay, I know there's communities out here. Let's just create a page and link these people to the people who are looking for places to go. And, Oh, you're breaking up again. Yeah, you're cutting off. What oh, about Rabbit? <laughs> yeah, Rabbit. Over, Rabbit the I'm next, the... over the next couple of days, I'm going to be working on onboarding a few of these communities and figuring out how I'm going to do it. Okay. Yay. Beautiful. Yeah, we're Robert, so grateful for you, Robert. You, dude, when I pop into the platform and I see you greeting people before I get to greet people, I'm like, yo, 
the thing is working. The, the community is coming together. It makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, so grateful. Rabbit is a great example of um, of a vision holder, a person that's already been in the movement in in, in different places. And uh, I think Kelsey, you recommended us to Rabbit. Thank you so much for that. Um, and so Rabbit has been supporting a lot with uh, community and engagement on the tribes platform, and now is going to be um, involved as a Biozone ambassador. So we'll be. Uh, reaching out to to projects within um, a certain area and then onboarding them to the platform and uh, yeah to the network and uh, plugging them into all the resources and, and goodies that we've been preparing uh, for a while. So really grateful for you and the call to action to all of you guys. Uh, Luke, this is also what you mentioned. How can we um, really accelerate the, uh, the process locally? And this is what biozones are, are doing. These are smaller networks of, of regenerative neighborhoods within a certain area. And so we're, we're definitely seeking people that uh, that would like to support with that process. Robert is one of them. Really, really grateful. And, and, and an example of making the, the journey custom. We have a letter that is prepared uh, to be sent to, to projects to connect with them. Robert is a vision holder. So it, um, so it's beautiful that you're gonna make it a little bit more custom uh, to to your individual uh, your individual journey and then uh, and then connect with them more personally. So super 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 grateful for you. Um, yeah, anybody else that would like to share about their journey? Kelsey yes. has been with us for a moment. She's in Colombia right now, working with indigenous communities. Really important. Um, maybe you want to share a little bit about that, Kelsey? Yeah, and your involvement in the project. So, can you hear me okay? Yes. Perfect. So, I, as soon as I found uh, Regen Tribe oh, about a year ago now, when I was in Colombia starting um, the work with the Arawako tribe, is I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most in alignment thing I have ever found, and I need to be part of it. So, <laughs> So I've just I've been kind of quiet over the past um, months as we've been um, it's been quite busy in the past year traveling around. Um, we have I ha am part of an organization called Sun Nation, and we're fi figuring out our whole foundation and development. Um, but um, a lot of our project is dealing with this tribe, and there's four tribes in the Sierra Nevadas. The Santa Marta Mountains, and we're working with the government, like directly with the government of the um, the leaders of all of those tribes. And this is the daughter of the chief <laughs> of that tribe, right here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've I've been trying to see how um, I can include and like weave together the projects. Um, over the past months and something I really am interested in bringing into Regen Tribe and like an aspect of it that I'm going towards is like how to bring indigenous wisdom to our our culture, how to our regenerative neighborhoods and how to create this cultural exchange of knowledge and really bring in the, the regenerative knowledge of the ancient wisdom that has always um, been there, uh, the codes to human existence and how to really be in harmony with the planet and really like creating an access um, to that knowledge through our relationship that we're building with the Arawakos. Um, and like we're working with other tribes as well. And I'm really interested in bringing this, um, this movement to communities who are being colonized currently um, and really working with the locals and how to bring um, this movement of our new tribe with these tribes who are being colonized who have who are lacking access to education um, who are trying to survive and have enough food um, so a lot of it a lot of what we're doing with Sun Nation is creating food sovereignty and access to um, to organic agricultural farmers and being able to grow food 
And so I see a path for um, collaboration with our communities and working with these communities who are working the land. Because right now I see a lot of people wishing to start farming, wishing to start agriculture, wishing for regenerative um, practices, but not actually embodying that yet not knowing where to start with that and um, really working with the locals we we want to have immersions with them um, to be able to exchange within our communities to to learn with the farmers and really bring together the different cultures and bridge the knowledge gap that's there and bring access so that's something i've been Working on, we have um, a very large community in Nicaragua of farmers who are um, growing lots of food. Their dream is to grow food for the world. And so we want to bridge, I want to bridge communities um, with Regen Tribe and bring access to like have a cultural exchange with this community and other communities like it. Um, Right, yeah, there's there's definitely like a huge space, right? These concepts of regenerative neighborhoods, right? Places, physical places with the infrastructure needed to give us the things we need, water, food, energy, is for everybody. Um, there is definitely a big movement and people buying land and building their own places. Um, there's also so many people with land already that with a little bit of this education that you're talking about, Kelsey, and a little bit of like inspiration from seeing other projects that are implementing these systems, um, that they, with, their, with what they have now, can create a lot of abundance for themselves. Water systems, food systems, energy exactly. systems. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's really beautiful how you're bringing it to Colombia and sharing this knowledge, this network, and it's beautiful how they have a lot of land and people. And then there's other people that have resources. And they have, um, for example, uh, pools or products that they could bring and merge and create a really beautiful kind of synergy effect there. Um, yeah. Yeah, really cool. So one thing else I want to touch on is like protecting the heart of the planet, which is this mountain range. It's a really important mountain range in the world is the highest coastal mountain in the entire world that feeds the water to the Caribbean Sea and which mm -hmm. feeds all of the oceans. So right. we're working on projects to protect this area of land through uh, working together with the tribe. And there's already so many different um, eco villages and you know different um, people wanting to come to Colombia to buy land to protect it, but then. Um, yeah, so, so working on connecting, especially around this part of the heart, uh, connecting these regenerative communities, and uh, that I'm really interested in onboarding in this area. Also, I, I could keep going on, but I'm going to... Um, yeah, you're very passionate. Okay, it's really, really beautiful to see you like on the ground, right? And so it, it's a beautiful example of a big vision that comes from the top, of like, okay, I see the thing and then starting bottom up, right? It's kind of mm -hmm. the approach that we have as well, right? We wanna give everybody around the world all of these resources, water, food, energy. And the way that we have focused on doing it is by focusing on one project at a time, one community at a time and seeing how they can get better and improve and helping spread that process out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you're a warrior, Kelsey. We're grateful for you to be here. Just yeah, to become okay. the San Diego, I, I have lots of people, lots of network in the United States. I lived in, I live in my van when I'm there, so I'm constantly going around. That's what cool. I did all summer is going to talk to different communities. So very yeah. happy to hear that you guys are going to be there and yeah, we'll yeah, be able to have lots of connections. Yeah, this is the point of these calls is to give everyone a little bit of an update of like, okay, we'll be hosting these once a month of like, okay, this is what's going on, what's alive in everybody's space. Oh, I'm doing this, and this is what's going on here in this movement of, like Luke mentioned, finding communities, getting them online, creating the physical places that we're all seeking to have close to us or available to us. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so uh, first of all, we love Kelsey, everything that Kelsey does. Like, uh, ultimately, the whole point of this movement is to learn how to be better land stewards and who better to learn that from but in, in indigenous wisdom keepers. Um, and honestly, uh, you know, I wasn't thinking to do this, but like after what Luke said, it could be so interesting knowing that everyone is so global. It was like so impressive to me when everyone introduced themselves and like everyone was in a different place in the world. Um, but then also like, yeah, I've, I've, I've also been on, on different like guy net calls, for example. And like, I would love to connect people, connect every single one of you with like local communities and projects that maybe you're not aware of um, that from our database from that are on the tribes platform and that you know we're onboarding more projects every day but if you're aware of community spaces near you or would like to I would love to really ground this into a, something physical where it's like we can connect you with communities and and the, the collective can grow and you can be aware of like opportunities and and community building in your in your area because like the 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 digital global like online meetings are great but like having it turned into real relationships with with physical communities i think would be something we'd love to do for everybody who participates in the calls mm, yeah I, I i love that idea um i um and we already have containers for for these conversations um we mentioned biozones we have biozone groups within the tribes platform and these are the places where where you can pop in and ask questions as well as um share the projects that you're uh, you're aware of in, in a specific geographical zone so i encourage all of you guys based on your location to go to to a specific biozone i think oscar will be sharing his screen and um, go to a specific biozone and either share project uh projects that you're aware of um maybe they're already on the platform and maybe ask a question about um about projects in, in your area and and get a response mm -hmm. yeah so a part of this call is also for us to share updates on the platform and how it's evolving uh the goal of the platform is for it to be this like hive right we're all bumblebees all around the world working on making our honey and our honey happens to be regenerative neighborhoods. <laughs> so, consider the tribes platform, our central hive, where in any one of the little spaces that you go into, you can find something that can help you in your process to find local neighborhoods, help them with information that they might need or to create your own, like in Rabbit's case or Kelsey's case. Um, so what Sonia was just speaking about here, if you're on the tribes platform, here in the top navigation bar, you can obviously look for neighborhood by clicking neighborhoods and you see the map of all the projects. You can also click here by location in Catalyzer, in location. And here you can see information about places organized by continents. Uh, we're working on a new way of sorting this information and providing it. This is what Kelly's partner, Yakir, is helping us with. He's a talented developer. Uh, we'll be streamlining this feed of information to get people the data that they're looking for. But for example, you can click South America. And in South America, you'll be able to see information about things going on. And if you look in the subgroups, right here, there'll be a feed of information. You'll be able to see countries that are coming online. We're going to add Colombia next. Um, and there's a bunch of projects happening in Colombia as well. We're, we're doing our best to keep everything updated while onboarding new new areas for people to take action in. Um, right. So very high level um, bio zones are um, containers uh, with bigger containers as continents, with countries within them, with uh, and with neighborhoods within the countries that you can uh, that you can go to. Uh, we have only eleven minutes left. I would still like to um, hear a little bit more voices and uh, also commit like a couple of minutes to um, to share uh, with you how to use the tribes platform right this is like our central place where we communicate and and share the updates about our project as well as updates from the regenerative movement in general so uh, really important for us uh, to um to share with you guys uh, what the flow is and and how to use it and 
since the calls will be happening once a month uh, for you to have an easy way to to get updates on all the initiatives that we're doing like the agent program uh, definitely tune into that because it's a great opportunity we're really excited about that um that the vision holder mastermind that nicole has been has been uh, plotting uh, and a lot of other goodies uh, that we are preparing so um yeah a little bit more voices from uh, from you guys uh, maybe really briefly like uh, half a minute one minute um about any questions you have anything yeah any requests we'll be sharing some requests at the end of the call as well from the tribe here everyone that's on the call of things that we could use some support with um, would love to hear from you guys. What are some things you'd like to know? Hi guys. Um, following what Kelsey said, I feel like it's an appropriate time for me to to jump in. Kelsey, please find me another time because we need to talk. Um, I'm working in indigenous community development here in Tanzania. So we're working on cultural regeneration through community-led development, right? And um, all of us here want to grow communities, but the unique thing about Tanzania is there's over 120 distinct ethnic groups, all with community embedded in their culture, right? And so it's not a matter of creating community, it's about how can we maintain it as they grow. So the, the problem that we're working on here, which is the hardest problem I've ever even had to think about, is how can communities evolve without having to sacrifice who they are, right? Like how can without having to sacrifice their identity. So that's what we're working on. Um, we have some solutions that seem to be working, but we're, we're babies, to be honest. So we're taking our baby steps and bumping into things and learning. And so I'm here because we really want to bring together two worlds that we exist in, right? So we want to bring together research-based best practices with culturally endangered indigenous wisdom so that these communities can grow themselves from the inside out. Because there's a lot of great work that's been doing here. Um, and a lot of great organizations involve communities and engage communities every step of the way. But community engagement is not the same as community leadership, right? So this is this right. is kind of the space that we're working in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so affirmed by the work that everyone here is doing. And to know that the world is in fact moving in this direction, it, it, it means more to me than, than I can articulate. So yeah, thank you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I saw you're on the platform here. Can you share some links on your bio or about like the work you're doing, where like where you are, anything that we could read about it would be really nice to follow up. Right, and, sure. and really create an opportunity for all of the people that are um, present here and maybe present in different places, not necessarily on this call, to uh, connect with you and collaborate with you. Right, this is this is really um, the most important thing that can come out of uh, calls like that. Like Oscar and Nicole met on a on a guy and a call, um, right. so definitely fostering collaboration and, and connections and uh, and more work together. Um, thank you, thank you so much for. Uh, for sharing that. Um, anybody else that would like to share um, ask questions? Um, oh, sorry. Last thing for me, guys. If you need a East African ambassador, just let me know. I'd love to. We do. We do. You're in. Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to send you more information about that. Hi, guys. Hello. I want to say uh, that I'm loving this community call. It's the first time I'm able to jump in. I'm Anthony. And I am from Tulum. Um, I, I know the region tribe and, and I am so proud to see this come together and grow. Also from day zero, from day zero. We were connected before region tribe was even a thing. <laughs> I know, I know, I love this. I love this and, and it's just seeing you guys sprout and grow. Um, I'm currently in England. I'm spending some time here. I just have my son. So I need to regenerate the world before. Congratulations, uh, Congratulations on your new baby. <laughs> yeah, thank you. He's over here asleep, finally. Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Sonia. And uh, I'll be in England until April. Um, very active over here also connecting with the communities. I mean, a wonderful sea, seaside community um, near the French coast. And I'll be back in April. I hope that I can schedule um, things to be in the agent program. I would love to uh, definitely be considered as part of that. And oh, yeah. I'm a lawyer and I work in real estate. So I'm very close to uh, land projects, mainly in, in the um, uh, peninsula in Yucatan. 
eh, Quintana Roo, like Tulum, Cancun, Playa, all those, Bacalar, are very close to my um, work. And a little farther down, eh, there's some amazing communities that you guys know of that are coming together and, and really raising their frequency to regeneration. Um, and I'm very glad that this is starting to catch up, you know, it's like contagious. So let's get everybody down with this uh, wellness, no? <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just really excited. I didn't know how to uh, do the passport thing to support on the GitHub grant, but I'll be taking my steps to get it. And definitely joining the the region tribe, um, where the the platform, yeah, cool. tribes platform. Um, yes. I'm eager to use it, and I want to be a bridge between you guys and all the wisdom that is collectively stored in in this the community, and funnel it towards uh, some of the projects that are closer to my work and and that I have nearby. So. Mm -hmm. I'm here and for legal stuff, happy to be of advice. Yeah, Ando, you've been a huge inspiration in this journey for us, um, right? I still reference this document you sent me. Um, I sent you a message on Telegram, check. Yeah. We're in touch, man. Let, let's, let's, let, let's do a deep catch up. Yeah, happy to see you. Oh, also, I want to thank everyone. Um, Andoni brought up uh, the Gitcoin grant. We recently were accepted uh, into like a public goods funding crypto uh, community fund grant. Um, and people got to, you know, vote with even just a couple dollars. Um, and that actually will be matched by the the larger fund. The, the round is closed, so people won't be able to donate anymore. But big thanks to anybody here or anybody not here that, that donated because we had um, uh, like I, I don't even know at the end something like 70 contributors 80 contributors so super super grateful for everyone showing their support especially because we came in like with no preparation we submitted the application like the day before it was due or like the day it was due because we had just learned about it we we hardly marketed and shared with the network so we're super grateful for at least people showing their interest and support for regenerative neighborhoods in that way and we'll keep you updated because all of that money is going to go towards developing the tribes platform so that more people can have the digital hub to to showcase their projects and get connected um and be, be uh, whether they're a potential community member or someone offering services like like andoni and his awesome legal um consulting for communities what's up rabbit i see your hand is up um i just wanted to say uh it i don't know that many people off the bat that are interested in cryptocurrency in my circle so it for future fundraising events if we come up with a, a simple way to transfer that or maybe even a middleman option to transfer it for potential donors that would help because i couldn't really share i didn't really know where i could share it to where it would be effective at in such short notice okay fair yeah good we're, we're, we're definitely working we, we recently created a um an account that uh also receives right nicole what was this through um wise yeah a wise account uh for the project uh that it, it, for any future fundraisers and things that we do for different projects we'll have a channel for both us dollars and euros um in that way awesome yeah thanks for bringing that up rabbit Okay, we have a couple uh, a couple more minutes. I would like to do a quick overview on how to uh, use a tribes platform. Thank you, Andoni. Uh, I also encourage you to post that, update your profile on the tribes platform if you didn't, so that uh, other users can have an easy way to connect with you. Um, would you share your screen? It sometimes um, yeah. sometimes causes an causes an error. So um, a few guys. Uh, follow along on the screen oscar is going to be sharing his screen we're going to show you how to uh stay up to date with what region tribe is about and how to um and how to get involved um and, and track all the activities that are uh, open for collective members to grab so if any of you don't have a profile i encourage you to do it right now it's a really quick process um, and the ones of you with profiles, one feature we're going to add is a reminder to fill in your profile. Like if you scroll to the very bottom, 
you should have a reminder here to fill in your profile if you haven't yet. Like on the side, it'll say where your profile is. Um, you can always go here and to your profile on the top right. And um, when you click it, it'll show you the questions left for you to fill in. Like um, Oscar, it's a 100% good job. I've answered all my questions. So people know what my magic is, what I do, what I love, and what my dream community is. Uh, we're working on an AI tool that will match people, uh, users on the platform with these requests that they've made of where they want a community, what kind of intention, what kind of amenities, and the size of the community. And it'll match them to projects that are getting onboarded to the platform in the next few development cycles. So stay tuned for that. And more than that, it will also match individuals based on topics of interest, location, and a lot of these other things that we ask in here. So we invite you to fill in your profile all the way, you guys. Okay, what yes, would like uh, I would like to share with you guys. And uh, now I um, logged Oscar out and uh, you're gonna see a pop-up like this for you to create your profile since Oscar is, already has one. He's gonna log in and uh, let's just um, quickly look through the flow of, on how to um, stay in touch with us. Um, so in the landing page, you can see the hi, um, Hi button in, in the navigation bar and you go to activate. Uh, this is our group for ambassadors and all the collective members that, um, that are seeking to get involved or are already involved um, in the project and are supporting in, in different ways. Yeah, we, we might change our picture. It's a good one. Nicole posted an ambassador badge. Um, and if, uh, and if you uh, look through here, you can see people logging in and in the discussions. Um, you can see hacks bounties. So we're going to be posting um, all of the uh, all of the activities that are uh, pending to be grabbed, uh, and going to be giving out hacks for that. So if you want discounts on all the offerings from the Region Tribe ecosystem, this is a way to um, to get a bunch of these. Um, we can see that we have uh, a couple of uh, activities posted that will be rewarded uh, with uh, with hacks. Um, yeah, and this is uh, more or less it. You, there's um, a lot of things that you can explore within the Tribes platform. You have a network of neighborhoods. You have an open source education. Um, we have different regenerative organizations here um, that right. you can track. This call is really focused on you guys who are the most activated group of the, let's say, collective. Um, individuals who are working on their own projects seeing the big picture at the end of the tunnel, which is we can change the world by changing ourselves and changing the places that we live in. And this is a regenerative neighborhood. And to create more of them better and faster is the goal. Uh, this tool is a tool for all of us to do that with. Mm. Um, any suggestions, anything that you think could help you in your personal project or this movement happen, feel free to message us, you guys. Right, this is the way we're designing this whole journey, this collective is totally open. Um, all of the resources we're gathering are open and free for everybody to use, to find the tools we're creating. We invite anyone who wants to be involved to get involved. Um, the way that we make decisions is transparent uh, with who is doing what, gets votes for different things. So. It's really exciting. And the more people that step in and want to get involved, doors are open for everybody. Right. And and this is really a place for you guys to ask questions uh, or maybe check in um, based on that call and everything that you that you know so far. Maybe something is part of your interest, like what you said, uh, Kamli would like to become a Biozone ambassador. Would love for you to check in uh, in that group and say, hey, I uh, I would love to know a little bit more about that. Um, so you, you can, can see you, 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 right? you can see in the description there's a link to our our collective notion where we can, uh, we have a bunch of uh, different guides and manuals on 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 different uh, activities so it's a little bit more in depth this is uh, our social container where we can communicate and and uh, get more information or share um share updates from our journeys for uh, the ones of you that are already involved in some way 
Um, so yeah, really bringing everything back to to this one uh, to this one place, the trust platform, so we can communicate the best. And and this is really where you can find all the information and updates. Oscar is showing us something. What are you showing us, Oscar? I was gonna make a group for Tanzania real quick, but I'm having a hard time <laughs> loading in. Yeah. Okay. So like the, the 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 way as an ambassador it would work is in this container of Africa Biozone we'll create a group for Tanzania. And in there, you'll be able to post anything going on with projects, communities that exist there. And if you'd like to onboard anybody, you click here, upload your neighborhood. Every community is welcome, right? Um, whatever level of the project they're on, are they just an idea? Are they under construction? Are they having people living there? Or are they an established community already, right? And add them to the platform so people can see them so they exist and they'll be part of whatever biozone their region is right on that topic i'm uh, posting in our chat that they like bring to uh, link to a guide for a biozone ambassador since this is something of interest of a couple of um you guys in uh, on, on the on the call i'm going to put it on uh, in the uh, in the platform as well it's it's all in there um okay Okay, you guys, any questions? Um, anything that you would like to know as, as we're wrapping up? Rob it. Rob it. Uh, um, I was wondering, so I know that we're trying to get a good amount of communities so that we have something to connect people, but I also know people who are going to be looking to link in with communities. Um, should I be inviting those people? Are there any kind of criteria for people that don't have communities? that we should be onboarding hard yes uh, on board on board people right like uh, we can uh, only have so many vision holders and the rest of uh, of the demographic is people that want to live in a community or provide service to a community or um or um uh, really all of all of the above right so everybody that's interested in, in community lifestyle and not necessarily already a hard years to living in one who just wants to explore that uh, the platform is is for everybody right for for people that want to that are already living in in these places who maybe are not even thinking about it uh, i think that the game is to inspire as many people as possible since we strongly believe that this type of lifestyle is, uh, is is something that we really need to regenerate um the way we live um so definitely onboard them to the platform as as you onboard yourself to the platform and you have a form where you choose the archetype that you you are um encourage them to to fill in this form so we can support them better on their journey later on rabbit definitely my friend the purpose of this platform is right double-sided on one side we have the neighborhoods the physical locations and what these projects need the most are the individuals that want to find them to work with them or live there or visit so people looking to find and connect with neighborhoods everyone i would love if every single person on this call spoke to five of their friends that they know loves community or the option of it jacob thank you thank for you for being me. here jacob just saw your message Jacob's a talented developer and is actually starting to dig into the code of the AI that we're using to match people to people, people to projects. Um, it's a Telegram bot. We're going to be inviting you guys on this call to test that AI bot that we're working on first to see how it connects all of us in our little micro network. And then we'll start branching it out. We call it the micro bot, the mycelium network bot. So it operates like the mycelium work in nature. Jacob, you want to say anything before you go? Yeah, uh, just uh, excited to be here. Uh, like Oscar said, I'm out on, on the tech side, coming out of a career in the software industry and trying to transition into open source regenerative work. So yeah, looking forward to helping build this uh, federated network state that we're all dreaming about. The federation, uh, I love that word. <laughs> yeah, I've got to hop off and go get my uh, kiddo from school, so. Yeah, I got it, brother. Thank, Thank you for joining. You so get it. Thanks for being here. Yeah, guys, we are so honored and grateful for everyone's energy and time, like Jacob, right? Full job, has kids, joining the calls, working on the on the tech in the background, like gift, you know, like everyone and everyone's magic and what they're bringing. And 
like it, it makes my heart happy you guys like i've literally been like dreaming about this doing this every day for the last couple of years and like calls like this make every second of that worth it and fill my cup to keep going for the next 10 years um so i'm so grateful for all of this and everybody here like we're doing our best to make this tool get there and to create the programs that encourage everyone to jump in because that's really what this movement needs it needs all of us it needs every single one of us to step in and do what we love and bring it together and we're just holding that space for everyone to feel invited and have support when they go how do i do it or what can i do we'll figure it out and we'll do it together and now go add your things to the pot because it takes all of us yeah please please doors open uh, at all times to give feedback to anything that is part of our uh, ecosystem this is uh, the magic that you can be bringing uh, just by um just by sharing what you think and what will make your journey easier um so uh, really let's take a screenshot let's take a screenshot with Yay. everyone smiling everyone turn oh camera. everybody's camera's on we're not gonna forget i always, I always forget to do this not yeah. today, i know stop baby. sharing your screen i want to see people's faces okay let or me stop maybe presenting let's keep sharing the screen back okay there we're there okay we're here we're here okay all right give us a countdown Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm making one. It's I'm happening, it's one. happening, it's happening. Oh, yeah. Done. <laughs> this one. Which one? This one? No, left, left. Oh, okay. Is it? I think you're recording screen now. No. <laughs> I, can, I can do it. I can do it. Hey, one, three, <laughs> two, one. Everybody go. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Woo -woo. Nice. Yeah, you guys. I'm, so, it, it, does anyone have anything else they'd like to share? I'm, I'm happy to like hear from anyone else that hasn't said anything or has anything on their mind. Any questions? Um, this is our first one that we've like picked up from our summer of being like really immersed in a bunch of journeys uh, in Europe, and uh, we were in Istanbul for a little bit. Um, we're working with resync up with everybody. Um, open floor, open mic. When exactly does the um, experience in April happen? What's, so is it in April or is it in March? Okay, like, so um, this is the timeline, right? I, I, I shared a timeline. So this is, Nicole, graphic I, I think would be great for us to make for the next quarter, like a timeline of the, yeah. of, uh, so starting the end of December, like next, this month, um, there's a project happening in Honduras uh, that is a vitality community they are working on medicine and technologies to give people health in their life and they are creating a community in honduras partnering with a physical community that already exists there named prospera so we will be there january and february uh we'll share info for this on the in the group on the regen tribe group um so that'll be january february then march and april we're going to be in tulum March, we'll be doing hosting a residency in Tulum, getting ready for Regen Week, which will be a decentralized style event happening in Tulum with people in the regenerative space doing projects, real estate, uh, so, um, society things, all kinds of regenerative topics will be coming to life. And of course, we'll be representing the regenerative neighborhood movement in Tulum at the end of March. So we'll be living in Tulum all of March. Regen week is the end of March. And then April will be a one month mastermind. Right, and before this, in January, thank you, Lila. Uh, in January, we'll be hosting our online calls for the agent program starting January. Um, that'll be a digital thing where we can all drop in and go through all of the content that we'll be sharing uh, for best practices of creating a community and to kickstart individuals who are excited to be a part of a community or support a community with having the fundamental understanding like a vocational training program to learn the baseline of what it is to create a community and how to use the Regen Tribe ecosystem to bring value to these projects around the world, like what Vivi's doing uh, in South America right now. 
Um, so yeah, March and April will be in Tulum, and then May, June, and July will be in San Diego uh, at this physical location. This vision holder is awesome. He bought this land, has the way he set it up legally, people who dedicate time and want to hold the flag there, he's willing to share equity of the property with. So even people without money that want to share time and energy can come and take ownership of this project as he distributes it. And we're entering him into the network because he wants to create more of these kinds of projects around the world. Um, so it's going to be a really cool one to uh, do a pop-up in uh, during May and June. Right. So, so to stay um, to, uh, to stay up to date, uh, check in. We're gonna uh, post about Vitalia and how to right. uh, if you want to be part of that residency in Honduras. We're gonna post information about that, um, and also um, if you're interested in the agent uh, program, definitely join the group for the agent program. Uh, since we're gonna be sending out workbooks uh, pretty soon for you mm -hmm. guys to get familiar. Uh, and then in the beginning of January, we're going to be kicking off with that six week course. That's an online course. If you, for uh, some reason, cannot join it, um, we're going to be um, sharing a digital version of that with recordings from the course. Really encourage you to, to uh, participate in, uh, online uh, because we're going to be connecting and talking and role playing, and it's going to be really fun. Uh, and then, um, and then uh, the next, uh, the next step of that is the in-person training. So uh, to, uh, to be part of the uh, on-site training in, in Mexico, um, you have to be familiar with, uh, with, uh, with all the topics of, of the community alchemy, uh, guide. So, uh, this is the process, um, stay updated, uh, really everything will be posted on the tribes platform. So, um, there are costs associated with the trainings. Uh, yes, we're looking at, um, the, um, the regular price is. Uh, $600. Uh, we want to make it accessible to anybody that uh, that is uh, interested and, and motivated. So we offer scholarships and, and uh, right, as so some of you already uh, are involved in the collective and have uh, have hacks uh, on their account and can earn more hacks, uh, you can uh, you can get a discount or get a course for free. Uh, so we can definitely uh, facilitate any any of you, especially uh, the ones that have been involved in the collective. We we're gonna make space for you. Right, like anyone that wants to take this course, we will find a way for you to take the course. Um, the mechanism that we've created with these hugs is so anything that you're doing, right, Kelsey? All the things that you're doing, you have a vault of hugs for the things that you've done. We need to check in on this so we can update your like hug. Uh, vault. Um, these hugs are re like the stickers you made, presenting us at workshops, presenting us at conferences, and all of these hugs are tradable for all of these courses that we will be putting up over time. Kelsey, mm -hmm. Kelsey's there because it's uh, Kelsey. It's um, update. I think you have around yeah. like 50, uh, 50 hugs for like all the work that you have been doing. Um, so okay. uh, I think I shared twice you, um, the, the um, I find slightly the um, calendar of just events. I'll make sure to share a much prettier, much easier to read version of like our plan for the next year. Um, we're also open to like suggestions, like anything that you guys are aware of that's happening um, will be in these different places, but we also wanna empower you to like connect with local events or connect with local communities and, and make things happen. Um, so I'll, I'll make this into a pretty calendar and then I will share it with everyone. Yes. I'm um, um, also uh, an, another small feature of the tribes platform is if you have an event that you're hosting or that you're aware of, um, uh, you can recommend it to us um, uh, as long as it fits like with the like the theme of regenerative neighborhood building and we'll list it on the tribes platform so that more people can hear about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Okay, how are we feeling? Do we want to do like a, a ritual closing? Do it, how do we feel? Uh, I feel great. I'm super happy to be here. I'm glad that we're all collaborating to speak. and communicating. I see the little dots, but I don't hear anything. I wonder if that's me. 
I could hear him. I heard him. I heard him. Yeah. I heard you, Rabbit. You're happy. You're grateful to be here. Keep going, buddy. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad that we're doing the thing. And if you guys feel it's time to create a closing, I would be down with participating. <laughs> here, here. Just closing words, closing remarks. I'm grateful for everyone's time and energy and love. I'm always available. Literally, I I live this. This is the thing. This is my baby in my life right now, you guys. Um, all of my energy, all of my time, all of my dreams and love and resources are going to this project in this moment of my life. My my only friends all are involved in this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm immersed fully. Um, and I love it. I'm grateful every second of it. I look at you guys all looking at me here and I'm just like, uh, grateful to have support around the world. And I see it happening more and more every day. The little dots around the world become bigger blobs and then they're all interconnected and then we create the new earth. So that's my close. We're doing it, you guys. We're doing the thing. <laughs> well said, Rabbit. We're doing the thing. That's also my close. We're doing the thing. <laughs> That will be also my thing. I haven't said anything, but I'm so grateful to be here. And I'm, I haven't been connected for that long. Like in summer, it was so magical. I manifested the tribe and I get to do what I found to love. And it's so cool. And I'm making all these connections and I all just what Oscar just said, all the dots are connecting. And I actually wrote up a message for you, Kelsey. I'll send it out in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy to see where this goes and I can't wait to see you guys in Tulum and it was su super awesome to put some more faces um, and to all the names that are already um, in the group. And it was also great to see you, Elif. We had a call yesterday. So yeah, there's a lot of connections being made and we're doing the thing and it's great. And yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, thank you, you so guys, much, Vivi. You, you guys do this on the Tribes platform as much as you can. Write to each other, write on groups, write in walls create this sense of that being our like digital little clubhouse for now, right? Because this is how others can tune in and step into this hive mentality that we have to create to grow this. Yes, please. I, uh, yeah, maybe didn't really uh, get a chance to share. I want to like um, shout out, to, shout out yes. to Vivi, your magical pioneer we, ambassador we, girl. We, <laughs> we, uh, we met in Berlin and you've been kicking ass she's since really then good. you're doing it and now uh, Vivi is uh, in Chile working as a biozone ambassador on site right it's uh, part of it is digital and and part of it is uh, is on site so um really uh, really pioneering being a junior agent uh, visiting projects connecting them and uh, posting updates and boarding them to the network really really grateful for you and um, as uh, my closing I am super excited super super grateful Grateful to see you all and um, really happy to see new faces and hear your voices and and really excited for a uh, follow-up on that and uh, and digital and more uh, excited about seeing you all in person and and really um living community with you guys oh my gosh are we closing okay um i just can't i can't say enough how happy i am to see everybody's faces here, especially new ones. Um, Kaim, Alif, Merhaba. <laughs> um, oh, on another call, by the way. I, to have you here. I don't want to lose you. Let's stay connected. I want to empower every 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 step of your journey. I want to be there. Um, it makes me so happy to see us growing. And um, I want to keep these calls really dynamic. You know, I don't want them to drag. I don't want them to be like, oh, just another monthly call. I want this to be about turning into real life connections and 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 physical physical community building um, more than anything. Cause this is the, the virtual world is just meant to empower our physical experience. I'm feeling great. I'm so glad we have this. It was overdue. Um, so see you guys at the next one. I, so I'll be you. off in the mountains with the wise men for the next two weeks, and you'll hear from me after that. <laughs> we're gonna be connected, Kelsey. We're gonna uh, we're gonna send uh, send you uh, energy and and hopefully uh, receive yours. Thank you, thank you. I love you guys. <laughs>
Love you guys. Thanks, guys. Talk soon. Double Oscar. It's double me. What's up? It was actually, I saw you triple because you were also on Vivi's like square. So you were in three different places. <laughs> uh, what's up, you guys? Um, Such a good call. So good to see everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've done it. We've done it. We've started the calls again, and it's necessary for sure. People love the. Right. Uh, thing it has right. to happen it's so crucial yeah they've been waiting like they've once been a month waiting. for like call up day we should do another one for like we, we oh my keep... gosh look at my mom trying to avoid me in the photo <laughs> <laughs> i had to call her out because she, she's like not even there's no way she could be seen when she's like really <laughs> <laughs> you're a ninja, mom. You're a ninja. Mom's a ninja. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think it would be cool to have another one, like uh, um, onboarding people to the tribes platform and having like a uh, like a guide on, on like how to have calls, use it, for things about use it using things. it properly, right? Like right. it's a good addition to to that. But I think uh, my uh, um, my internal need all the time was like, oh, let's go to the trust platform, let's go to the trust platform, and and like mm. so really make it a tool for people and and make sure they use it for for anything that that they're doing is is really important and it's really challenging to do that in a short period of time um like a five minute window it doesn't seem um doesn't seem to bring so much value to people so maybe having a little bit uh, more of that so maybe uh, calls focus on that there's a lot of people um what you recognize nicole like developers engineers and um and like designers that want to uh, be part of the creation of the platform so it will be cool to uh, maybe have that more in depth from like the development side and and uh and after that or before that have like a 30 minute segment where we uh, bring everybody in and show them how to use the platform it will be really cool yeah that it felt really good and then i noticed like a part of my mind was noticing how many topics we were trying to cover in one call um when it comes to like onboarding people to the platform um knowing their needs um being able to also let them know about um uh like things that, that like jobs and bounties that they could uh, pick up so like packaging that in a way that um like is maybe streamlined in one call or breaking it up into a like multiple um definitely it seems like we need like even just like blitzes like 30 minute blitz like get onboarded to the tribes platform um like for people who already have an account and want to get oriented or like or are just like woo and don't have an account and then we can just onboard them and blitz and then teach people yeah, I super, super, super agree. Um, okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna now like post an update of that on the Trice platform and um, and really like um, where can I where can I make sure that all of the people that were on the call uh, joined? Like, I feel everybody was there already. Maybe Antonio was there. But maybe the uh, Alfie. What do you want to do? Just like uh, greet all the people that were part of the call, post a screenshot of our faces and, and tag them all and on tag the them platform. and like make sure that they know that this is a place where they can ask questions and and follow up on all the things that were mentioned. I'm, right? making, like a to keep I'm making a Tanzania group in Africa and a Uganda group, right? Where is that as PI Uganda? Yeah. Yeah, I'm making well, you, both of you, those in Africa right you're, now. You're so hyper. Like, we have one minute for, for the call. And I was kind of like, let me put some Tanzania group. I want to like, oh, here, you're an active person. Here's your group. Hit it. I, I Hit know. It. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, like, has to be. Has to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, ah, what was I going to say? Ah, I forgot. Oh, well. We all told you. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat now. Yeah, I'm like defrosting some burgers. Oh, burgers! We got some nice. vegan burgers, and Oscar introduced me to Hawaiian bread. Oh, hello. Hawaiian roll. She's never had a Hawaiian roll. I, oh. I have a version of that in Poland. But you've it's never like had a Hawaiian roll. I've never. Had that. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you've never had an American Hawaiian roll. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm living American dream over here. So he's living her American dream. Like She's every, been shopping like six times in like the last my, five years. Oscar's mom is like taking us to a different different store every day. She it's wants like, to show my mom all. My mom wants to show her all the stores. We've been to Publix, Walmart. Uh, what else? BJ's. Um, what else was there? Like the other clothes store, kind of like an outlet. Whatever. It's been it's been a lot of yeah. a lot of shopping and walking down aisles um, over here. Yeah, that's funny. Like you get older, and then like your your social life is is going to like going to places to get your food. Right, yeah. right. I'm making a purple sweet potato pie. Um, today was really great, actually. So, um, yeah, how are you doing? What's up with you? So, I uh, had a really good call with Anna. She's such a witch. It's like it's so interesting. Anna, yeah. Anna. She's yeah, such a Mark witch. Anna. Yeah, she's super yeah, yeah. Just, just created like a whole marketing brand based on crystals <laughs> well so okay so she had a lot of really interesting advice and i think this comes like this this is true i think for everything that we do ambassador calls marketing flyers any languaging that we have um because it seems like we're really good at like it, her this 